In a world's first, Intel has unveiled the DG2 XE HPG gaming graphics card as a proper standalone product. Previously, we've only seen Intel's DG1 integrated graphics and XELP server GPUs in very discreet forms at CES 2020 and Computer X 29 respectively. However, Intel has been teasing gamers for quite a while now with its XE HPG graphics cards. The Intel Alchemist, aka DG2, is the GPUs are set to become the first gaming graphics cards, which are actually spun out of Intel's XE HPG yarn, something that's promising to be bigger than any other GPU launch. Welcome back to another video from Top Tier Tech where today we're gonna to be going over everything that we know about the new Intel graphics cards. The GPU and you, what it is and how it works. For many that are new to the PC market, it can get quite confusing having to memorize so many acronyms such as CPU, M.2, Code Blue, wait a second, that's for hospitals, and of course, GPU, which can lead many to wonder, what even is a GPU and why do I need it? What does it do for my PC? Well, for starters, the primary use of the graphics processing unit or GPU is one of the most highly significant forms of computing tech. They help to process several units of data at once, which is why they have a wide number of applications, such as business computing, artificial intelligence, video editing, machine learning, creative production, and of course, personal computing. However, they're known mostly for being essential in gaming, and they can even be offered as a silent hardware unit or be integrated into your computer's CPU. GPUs were originally designed to, initially, help to facilitate the ongoing 3D graphics, but they become very programmable and flexible to the point that, in recent times, they can even help a computer's overall performance. Intel's graphic technology is the main name for the number of IGPs, or Integrated Graphics Processors, made by Intel and developed on a similar die or package of the CPU. It came in a scene as Intel HD Graphics in 2010 and ended up renaming itself as Intel UHD Graphics in 2014. In the year 2013, Intel ended up having the IGP series create the new Iris Graphics and Iris Pro Graphics card respectively. Now, let me be clear. Intel Alchemist is also called the DG2 and are GPUs that are positioned to emerge as the foremost gaming graphics cards, which are released from Intel's XE HPG series, which is set to be the foundation for which several other GPUs will help to be produced by the giant chip making company. Alchemist will also be the first to offer ARC, or Intel's high performance graphics brand that caters to software and hardware services alike. Hopefully everything is gonna be ready to go at the beginning of next year, whereby Intel is gonna be putting up their best performance foot forward and being able to give both Nvidia and AMD a run for their money in the GPU market. Because if you know anything about the GPU market, it's that one thing is for certain, and that is that the rivalry between these two have been like this for decades. But that would most likely change as a result of Intel stepping into the market with their Intel Alchemist. The chip making Goliath does hope to break deeper into the gaming market, since both Team Green and Team Red have long since dominated the market share of this billion dollar industry since the early 2000s. But we gotta give credit to Intel as they aren't a true novice on the GPU scene per se, being that they are the largest GPU providers overall in terms of production volume, thanks to the integrated graphics cards that you would find in just about every laptop across the globe. And as for the cost of GPUs in recent increase, thanks to the large part due to the global shortage, this is the perfect time for you to invest into AMD and Nvidia cards before they're possibly gone for another lengthy period of time. And it doesn't matter if you are undecided about their acquisition or you're even an enthusiast or possibly a new customer, Intel's Alchemist and XE HPG ought to make you excited like children's feel during Christmas. Intel's Alchemist Specifications as you might expect from a high-end gaming GPU from Intel, the architecture is going to include multiple computing cores, or CEUs, along with dedicated RT cores for ray tracing and dedicated tensor cores for AI acceleration and AI desensing. The chip will also feature an L1 cache for every single CU and a shared L2 cache that is going to help with performance but also help with more power efficiency 
thanks to the last need for external memory assets. As reported by various news outlets, the DG2 will sport multiple CUs to enable it to clock up to high frame rates of at least 4K resolution, while also delivering ray tracing visuals at higher frame rates. Also, Intel Alchemist isn't one graphics card, but rather the series of graphics cards. A segmentation within the lines of EUs or external units and memory cards are going to be expected. The latest major building block for Intel gaming GPUs is the XE Core, and the XE Cores, along with the XE HP, don't have any resemblance with previous products from the Intel lineup itself. In fact, the new XE core found in Alchemist GPUs have 16 matrix and 16 vendor engines, whereby double this number of engines is loaded into the XE HPC. This decision was actually made by Intel so as to make gaming the priority of their GPUs, which is essential for carving out large gaming graphics cards. In the new XE core, you can put an 8-wide ALU for each EU in place for an 8-wide ALU for each vector graphics. Vector engines are very interesting, though. The XE core gives acceleration to artificial intelligence workloads, such as interface tasks which are needed for immersive learning. Picture an XE core in the same way as you do with NVIDIA's Tensor Core, where each of these cores is going to be more than ample to support and run different AI tasks, but from a gaming perspective, this is such a huge advancement in the world of GPUs, with the XE Super Sampling Upscaler giving gaming enthusiasts something to definitely look forward to. Whenever four X cores are put together, we end up getting a render slice of where each render slice has about four ray tracing blocks. If we combine, let's say, every render slice, then we get the ever-popular Alchemist graphics cards, which look like a huge slice of silicon to take over NVIDIA and AMD. With the creation of the Intel Arc, Alchemist will at least be able to finally battle it out with AMD and NVIDIA on a much more serious level. An advancement towards memory configuration, it seems that Intel is interested in matching the big NVIDIA with AMD in terms of actual memory capacity. When combined with Intel's XE HPG GPU, we end up getting a raw memory about 16 gigabytes. And the 256 gig big Intel is suspected to use their premium 512 graphics card, which will allow it to compete with AMD's Radeon RX 6800 and Nvidia's RTX 3070 respectively. The Intel Alchemist Cost To be able to get the cost of the Intel Alchemist, we do have to do a little bit of mild speculation, especially since there has not been any notion from Intel on a price range as of yet. With that being said though, we can look to the price ranges from other GPUs, which will help us in predicting with our estimates of what this new Intel GPU could go for. With respect to the high pricing models provided by both AMD and Nvidia, we should see prices of Intel's graphics cards possibly go for around $400 for a start, because that's at least what the GTX 3060 is starting with, and a maximum of $580 on the much higher end with AMD's RX 6800. Keep in mind, though, that these prices were the MSRP ranges for the respective card companies even before inflation and shortages. So if worse came to worse, the low end price point could be sitting around $500 and the high end could be as nearly as high as $800. The launching of the Intel Alchemist. As you know by now, the DG2 is the second iteration of the XE HPG architecture, which stands for High Performance Graphics and will be a standalone graphics card with two separate SKUs at launch. The XE HPG gaming graphics cards are supposedly said to become the first graphics card spun out of the Intel XE HPG yarn, something that is promised to bring greater performance per watt than any other GPU on the market right now. Intel has even gone on to claim that it will have, quote, the highest FPS per watt, with many more features in tow as such for support for ray tracing, variable rate shading, or VRS, sampler shading feedback, SFS, and mesh shaders. We're kind of expecting DG2 to have been out of the end of this year, but since Intel announced the Alchemist codename and ARC brand, the earliest graphics cards would be released when 2022 ends. The official Twitter announcement of the Intel graphics made mention of the launching of the XE HPG, but the announcement was undermined in August, so probably for the first quarter of 2023. Benchmark to the Intel Alchemist Previous reports claim that the Intel A700 ARC or A500 ARC will compete with Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3070. What we later found out is the fact that Intel's A380 works in the same way as Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650 Super. Now, you shouldn't take this benchmark to heart though, 
particularly those that had leaked prior to Alchemist's launch date. Anyways, that's all we know for the current upcoming Intel GPUs. Thanks for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let us know down in the comments below what you think. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.